Hello everybody, my name's Pete from Alan's World and today I'm going to bring you from my lovely kick. Oh, oh, hang on, I've just started outside of my, um, of my house. Right, let's start that again. So, hello everybody, my name's Pete from Alan's Kingdom and today I'm going to bring you inside part number five. Oh, thank you very much for an apple. I will start this one night. So this is part number five of my Let's Play Building My Castle and Defending My Realm. So, since the last video, as you can see, we, with the last video we've done um, some of the the walls on it. Oh, hello, Mr. Enderman. I'll just avoid him. I'm not really kitted up for him at the moment. So we've done the front of the walls, and so since then I've done um, I've finished off doing the bricks all the way around, and I've actually spent some time, lots of lots of mining, and gone around the entire outside of the castle, built all the walls, and replicated all my buildings from all the way around. Yeah, so I'll just give you a little, oh, these silly updates, I've just had an update on my computer and um, I keep getting all these silly um, messages come up saying, oh, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Yes, I do. I've been playing this game for the last year. <coughs> so, to come over, so as I keep coming around, I followed my theme all the way around with the cobblestone and the brick stones, yeah, coming over. And when I come running back here, if you see there, I've got a little, I've got a little egg just here. Um, I've noticed at the top there, you can just see him just there where my crosshairs are at the moment. There's actually a chicken which is stuck on one block. And every time I come round the back, he's laid an egg. Oh, Mr. Creeper, so I'll watch out for that creeper. And uh, there's my bow. I've already got a couple of arrows, so I've got to hopefully make sure these arrows, these actually these things take... Oh, oh, is, am I going to get him? Am I going to get him? Uh, hold. Oh, I'm not really sure. I think he's going to run away, actually. Okay, I might just watch him and save my couple of arrows that I've got just in case he does come back. Yep, he's gone. Yep, I'll pick that up. So, as I'm coming around, I have to mine all this part of the cliff face out. Um, I've got some coal here, which I'll probably pick up later when I need a little bit of XP or some more torches. Um, this bit, I haven't actually done anything around here. I've, I've, I've left this wall so, so you can see how I actually do all the features on the outside. So, we've got all that there, so that's my tour of the castle so far. Um, you probably noticed as well at the moment that I'm actually doing a voiceover for this video due to, some, for some reason, the first 10 minutes of my voice record of, of, of this video um, actually didn't record the sound. Um, but it cuts in halfway through. So, as I've just told you what I'm doing, yeah, although, yeah, I'm just walking through the inside the walls at the moment so I can go through. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my voice very, very shortly until we built the walls on the outside and it, and the audio has come back on in the next sort of four or five minutes and then we'll come over there itself so hope to sit back and watch this little bit of a montage and i'll see you in a second The only problem is now I don't know how I started the other side. Due to right there, well, they're not that symmetrical. There is like one or two blocks difference. Uh, let's see if my resident chicken has um, laid me any more eggs. Yes, thank you. Yeah, nip over here. I did have to put low. There is low. This is where I built my cave. Uh, old castle is so many caves. Um, there was this mob after mob after mob and all over the place. Um, so I haven't actually ventured in any of the caves as of yet. All I've done is run down them just to put some torches down just to make it a little bit safer when I was running around because this is getting it was getting insane at some stages. Right, so what have we got? We have got two slabs. Right. Let's go there. We've got two slabs there, so let's put your nip around here. Oh, there they all come. Let's start spawning now. This is, this is why I need my castle to, to protect myself from all these googlies and mobs running around. So many of them. Right. Let's nip down here. Maybe get that cool there on. So, yeah, I don't know why. Um, I haven't changed anything or done anything. There's been no updates, but it's just seeing me as a a little bit of a noob at the moment, which is quite annoying because it just keeps getting all these silly messages. 
right, which is making it a little bit harder and slower to actually get onto my work. If you've got any suggestions for anything you want me to put inside my castle, uh, let me know and I'll see about building those as well. So, yeah. As soon as I've done this wall here, we're going to start off um, building one of the towers. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to build yet. I might just build, I might just build the night, the night's hut first because I am a knight and I've got nowhere actually really to sleep. I'm just sleeping. I'm sort of like hunks at the moment, really, because I've got. I've, 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 I've got that little mud hut I started off with in the very, very start of the game. Um, I've got that steps. Yeah, so I've got that mud hut which I started off where my first little mini farm was. There's not much really there, so I didn't put the spider. So you take him out. Oh, skeleton. Uh, and there we go, little battle. Right, nice, go. Charge. One. Oh, look, like I have never seen a skeleton before. Right. Where was I getting? I was getting some more steps. That's what we're doing, getting some more steps. I've also noticed as well, with this new update, um, to use bone meal, it's taken a very long time. I, I just went to use a bit of bone meal to get some wood on a tree. I think I had used four bits of bone meal per tree, a kind of sapling to actually grow an oak tree. Yeah, so um, just bear that in mind when you're doing things like that now. Um, they've changed things like that. Um, we've also found out the hard way. Also found out um, you now have to press crouch to get out of a minecart. Uh, I was sitting there for ages trying to, a couple of days, a few days ago, trying to um, get out of a minecart. I don't usually use minecarts that much. And sitting there, sitting there, going, "Let me get out of this thing." Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got to press crouch to get out of the mine cup. It's got a little new thing up, which I've realised. Um, a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. That um, <laughs> I find that steps now. <laughs> I should really think about how much I need when I come over here. And, um, any height, like your PC, any, any you can fall from any height now and land in water of any depth and survive. Which is sometimes quite handy, but especially when the caves you can fall down. Oh, no, not step slabs so. Sometimes quite handy, sort of going over. And sometimes can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain. Last one there, last one there, and last two there. So here we go. That is all of this side done. And I, looking at that now, I've got attached to having the pillars out like that. So I'm going to just do the front now because I'm walking past it. But out of video, I will just go around each of the pillars in turn. And actually put a stone step up there. One, because I like the look of it, and two, that means no ladders at all can be placed at the outside of my castle except where the gatehouse is. Except here. But I've got some nice things planned for the front of my castle. I say I've got my moving portcullis. So I've got the moving portcullis. I've also got. I'm going to build some um, bit of redstone action on the top with um,
Right, so, I think as I've been sleeping inside this one, I might as well make a start <coughs> on, um, on this one, actually trying to think how I'm going to get up there. So, the first thing is, we need to turn this wood probably into some, some wood. Right, so the door's there. I need a bit of mud. Yeah, I've got some scaffolding, so let's pile up in the centre. And then we'll first let's start thinking about building uh, one of my first floors. So, oops. So how it's going to be, it's going to be, um, usually each of the towers are going to have some sort of living quarters at the top, where we are at the moment, really because if you are getting attacked, you don't want to be on the ground floor, you'd rather be a little bit more protected, and secondly, if you are getting attacked, it's going to be a lot quicker to, um, to man your battle stations if you're sleeping on the floors where all the fences actually are. Oh, dear. Take that as well. Yeah, so that's, that's one of my reasons then. That means then it allows me then to have the ground floor underneath me on the tower. See, so you come up there, we've got a nice little view and you come straight out. Yeah, so we're going to have all the dormitories coming up here. So I'm probably going to have beds this end, and then one from this end. So let's build, let's build a little crafting table. Uh, we'll put that there, and then we'll build a bed. I think that's a chest. Okay, so <laughs> we'll build a chest then. So yeah, so each of my each of the knights are going to have a chest. Yeah, yeah. They can have. They can have a chest. So there'd be two two knights inside here. So just build a couple of beds. So one bed and two beds. Yeah. So they've got their own little. That's their own area where they store their own goods. Sort of on there as well. We'll put a couple of um. I think I'll put a couple of hooks on there so I can hang our armour up. I think that'd be quite nice. Yeah, so, have you got any leather on it? Yes, I've got some leather. Let's make some sticks. And how many can I make? One, two, I can make. Oh, I can get some more leather in a bit. Uh, so I'll put that one there and that one there. So you can put his helmet there. Yeah, if we can hang his helmet up and then. We're also going to make them. We're going to make them all helmets, so I'm probably going to use all coloured coded um, devices sort of on there itself. But we're getting to the end there, the end of this video at the moment. So um, just put that block there. Um, well, out there. So at the moment there, I'm going to have to leave it there. So um. Thank you very much for watching. As I um, I value all, all the subscriptions, all the subscribers, sort of on there itself. Feel free to leave any comments below. And subscribe. We'll see all my next videos coming up very shortly. I say um, this one will be uploaded, and then hopefully a few days later, um, we'll upload the next one. So there could be quite a few coming on quite quickly now because all the main work. It's actually been done around the outside. So all we're doing now, each video, we're going to start looking at each of the towers in turn. So I'm going to look at designs for the night for that night one just over there, and then we're going to start doing some some sort of different fancy staircases to get to each of these towers and start building, start building the crops and start building the mounts. So well, thank you very much. I'll just turn around there. So thank you very much, and it's been wonderful today. And. Hope to see you again and bye!